Hierarchy of Hazard Controls, Wikipedia Audio Hierarchy of Hazard Control is a system used in industry to minimize or eliminate exposure to hazards. It is a widely accepted system promoted by numerous safety organizations. This concept is taught to managers in industry, to be promoted as standard practice in the workplace. Various illustrations are used to depict this system, most commonly a triangle. The hazard controls in the hierarchy are, in order of decreasing effectiveness. Physically removing the hazard is the most effective hazard control. For example, if employees must work high above the ground, the hazard can be eliminated by moving the piece they are working on to ground level to eliminate the need to work at heights. Components of the Hierarchy Substitution, the second most effective hazard control involves replacing something that produces a hazard with something that does not produce a hazard for example, replacing lead-based paint with titanium white. To be an effective control, the new product must not produce another hazard. Because airborne dust can be hazardous, if a product can be purchased with a larger particle size, the smaller product may effectively be substituted with the larger product. The third most effective means of controlling hazards is engineered controls. These do not eliminate hazards, but rather isolate people from hazards. Capital costs of engineered controls tend to be higher than less effective controls in the hierarchy, however they may reduce future costs. For example, a crew might build a work platform rather than purchase, replace, and maintain fall arrest equipment. Enclosure and isolation creates a physical barrier between personnel and hazards, such as using remotely controlled equipment. Fume hoods can remove airborne contaminants as a means of engineered control. Elimination, Substitution, Engineering Controls, Administrative Controls, Personal Protective Equipment Administrative controls are changes to the way people work. Examples of administrative controls include procedure changes, employee training, and installation of signs and warning labels. Administrative controls do not remove hazards, but limit or prevent people's exposure to the hazards, such as completing road construction at night when fewer people are driving. Personal protective equipment includes gloves, Nomex slash uniform, respirators, hard hats, safety glasses, high visibility clothing, and safety footwear. PPE is the least effective means of controlling hazards because of the high potential for damage to render PPE ineffective. Additionally, some PPE, such as respirators, increase physiological effort to complete a task and, therefore, may require medical examinations to ensure workers can use the PPE without risking their health. The hierarchy of controls is a core component of prevention through design, the concept of applying methods to minimize occupational hazards early in the design process. Prevention through design emphasizes addressing hazards at the top of the hierarchy of controls at the earliest stages of project development. This article incorporates public domain material from websites or documents of the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. Elimination Substitution Engineering Controls Administrative controls Personal protective equipment Role in prevention through design